Welcome back folks. It's dark out. Battery's low, 15%. I don't want to turn on battery saver. We'll have to make this quick. All of our lighting has been installed and troubleshot, troubleshooted. Uh, we got two switches here. First of which does this group of four lamps at the bottom of the stairs. And once again, this room kind of area now. We haven't got a lot of walls. The other switch does the fixture over there. On and off. Boom, boom. And then these two cans have been added to this circuit. So you, uh, you got these here. They all go on together. On and off. And finally, this fan light here. Um, it was wired with three conductor number 12 wire because you have a fan, which is switched here and a lamp which is switched there um, but if you break those two functions out and take them to a wall socket a wall switch like this is on the first switch both items um, is how it's wired up there right now but because it had three conductor wire there and it was only about that far when I died in with a junction and I continued I, I bought 25 feet of three conductor for here <clears throat> or 15 or whatever and I, got, I stretched it to there so in the future if someone wants to put the fan on one of these switches and the lamp on the other one which is you know and there'll be a different fan lamp here um, that would be ideal I couldn't do that over here I thought that's what was happening because there's three conductor wire here but that ended up being a daisy chain home run from the panel that supplies the bathroom uh, with power, weirdly. So because there was both uh, vintage three conductor wire here and on the other place, I was I had a couple mix-ups here when I was wiring because I kept having to remember. Or at first I had to find it out that this one was actually switched and this one was not. And then I had to remember that it was the case. As well as this run coming back from that fixture after we go to the fixture, this is hot when that's powered and and not when it's when it's off. So this is a switched piece of two conductor uh, switched there that I have to chase all the way back. So basically I'm going to take that lamp off tomorrow and find the other end of him and cut him back as far as I can reach. And then, uh, you know, coil him up here. I can't really pull him out of there because he's probably got a couple staples in him. But he'll basically just be hanging out in there forever without, without being used. That's that. Now, <clears throat> here's where we can see. So I had a bit of a problem here. Um, we want to, oh, can't battery low, can't turn on the flash. I wanted this wall, when we take it out, we go around the corner, we thought about maybe showing the brick of the, of the chimney here, and I want to go right on by, flush, and turn and go around the corner. The problem was that there was hot air um, uh, coming in here in a duct, and it worked out right at the edge there. So I was thinking I would have to add a 2x4 to the other side of it so that you can get around and put the register cover on, and have. You know, it's just kind of unprofessional to have that sticking out like that. So then I was going to jog the register over, because when I had this cut open, I could see that um, when this was in here, previously constructed, I could see it was justified to our side of the wall bay, and it could go a couple inches that way, so I was going to try and slide it over. So I had gone down in the basement to find it and see how difficult it would be to operate on it after it was underneath the floor. And so I came down here, hi puppies. And I said hi to the puppies. Hi puppies, hi puppies. And I went over here and I pulled out the drop ceiling tile and I stepped up on this bucket and I saw, oh, uh, you can't easily see it here. Here's all there was. It just turned down into the floor and I was looking at the raw end of it. It doesn't go anywhere. So somebody has operated on this heating system before in the past. I'll leave that there so I can show my customer that scenario uh, before I remove it all the way out. But uh, that solves our issue there. If it's never been supplying heat, we just omit it. Unfortunately, now I want to come down with a, a stud at the end of the wall here to carry the drywall and, you know, create rigidity here. Unfortunately, the subfloor is missing and I can't get the wall to start. Oh, what do you think you're doing? No, no, no. Jailbreak. Anyway, I've got nothing on the floor to stand a wall on. So, I'll have to go down in. This is the joist right here. Right underneath there, it's right there. I might have to go right on down in there and just screw it into the side of the joist. Almost like the pony wall we were looking at the last project. That would be how you uh, mount the studs down through the floor to control the wall moving back and forth. So it's not that big of a deal. I can't easily repair, repair the subfloor here. And you can see in here too that the chimney um, is swimming inside of this 
air I could tell when I hit this was hollow and it's not pretty brick it's just cinder block and there's a weird little kind of a cubby back there so this is gonna need some special operating here and a drywall patch on top of it we'll have that done and we this is we were able to do what we needed to do over here because we had double top plates and we had double or we had a you know a sole plate and I just set this stud in there and sent him flush to the existing framing and screwed into him right along there and then you know because it made more sense to do this whole piece of drywall now instead of that little thing and have a seam there and then a seam here and the outside corner we'll just have the corner and all these edges will be behind the door trim and we'll just have to do a little seam over there because we'll cut like an l-shaped piece here that's a best case scenario a uh, real ordinary two two by four at three and a half inches wide went in here no problem it did have to be drawn over a little bit mostly because those are jogged off from one another hey look two old two jail breakers <clears throat> over here we're at old original framing lumber and this two by four is actually three and three quarters by one and three quarters so it's a little bit bigger i had to buy a two by six and i'm gonna have to rip the two by six to three and three quarters and use that to hold this in here and keep it from being slopping around so we've got that surgery to do tomorrow we got some rock wool which is not fiberglass and buy a two by four by 16 inch bat instead of r13 which is what fiberglass is we get an r15 out of it so it's nicer to work with it doesn't make you itchy you get a better r value we're going to put some in here and then we'll probably turn and go into the floor bay a little bit. Uh, on this side of the house, there's a dormer up there, so you don't need um, the insulation in the floor. Whereas on this side of the house, it's original, there's a knee wall, and the space beyond the knee wall is under the plane of the roof, and it's all old fiberglass here. So we'll add some more rock wool there. We're gonna have more in the smallest amount that I could buy than we basically need, and the last few bats I'll leave in the basement. Um, you know, if she'd like them for another project someday. So that's where we are, and tomorrow we're going to continue to do things like dial in this edge of this board here and get all of our old drywall nails cleaned out and be ready for drywall board and what we're going to do to shim it up and make it smooth with what's here and that'll be where we spend a lot of our time, I think. Hopefully I'll hype that and hype it and hype it again and it'll end up being easier than I thought it would be, but anyway, and our bathroom lights work and everything's, you know, back to... Back to working, which is exciting. All right, tomorrow's Friday, and we're going to get ready so that next week we can do drywall all week, get bored up, and then get some mud on there, too. So, all right, thanks for watching. You two are going back in the basement, right? Okay, bye.